max summer workouts and seven on seven in full swing. Uh, and in Texas, that means heat. And that means hydration is of the utmost importance. Uh, Dr. Torrance Walker, we had an opportunity to talk with Dr. Torrance Walker, orthopedic surgeon on the medical staff of Baylor Scott and White Medical All Saints Medical Center uh, in Fort Worth. Uh, he wrote about this very subject for Dave Campbell's Texas Football in the Summer Edition. And he, we talked to him a little bit earlier about this uh, to give us a preview of the article. Uh, hydration, of course, of the utmost importance in the Texas heat. Here's our conversation with Dr. Torrance Walker on DCTF Live. Dr. Walker, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, as coaches emphasize hydration for their athletes, uh, what are really the key messages they should be sharing? I know that there, there's, a, there's a lot of information to get out, but, but what are really the bullet points that they need to be hammering home? Well, for hydration, one of the key points is, you know, hydration is very important for athletic performance. Mm -hmm. You know, it uh, definitely improves your performance, and one of the key factors is uh, staying uh, properly hydrated before, during, and after exercises. It also helps prevent any heat-related illnesses that could you know, hamper uh, the health of the athlete and uh, slow their performance and um, um, you know lead to them not being able to participate. Absolutely. So, so then, what for you as as a doctor? What are the, what are the telltale signs of of maybe an athlete who who hasn't properly hydrated before or, or even during uh, or after an athletic uh, um, activity? What are you looking for as those kind of symptoms of maybe being underhydrated? One of the easiest things to to know that a pa that a patient or athlete has not properly hydrated is that they are sluggish out on the field. They're kind of dragging. Uh, they're not their usual self. Um, they may experience some dizziness. Um, and you know, obviously, the the one that's most common is uh, athletes get heat cramps. Mm -hmm. No, that we, we certainly see that all the time. And But, uh, you know, I want to ask you about maybe, like, we hear this phrase, like, stay hydrated. You know, what, you know, proper hydration levels. Uh, what does that mean? What, what, what are we talking about when we say proper hydration levels? That means getting enough fluid on board so that your circulation and your body functions uh, still hurt during your exercise endurance. Because you have to... You, your body is really pushing itself to a higher level and limit. And if you're, you don't have enough fluids on board, you're not getting the blood flow to the muscles uh, and to the tissues to, uh, to clear any of those uh, factors that develop after exercise. So what, what I would recommend is, and, and a lot of athletic trainers do this already, they weigh some athletes, they weigh the athletes before exercise and right after practice. Mm. But unless you let them know that an athlete is not hydrated enough during practice, and the quickest way to tell whether dehydrated is the weight loss they experience right after exercise. Yeah, that, that certainly makes sense. We're talking to Dr. Torrance Walker, orthopedic surgeon on the medical staff of Baylor Scott and White All Saints Medical Center in Fort Worth here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation, hashtag DCTF Live. You know, Doc, one of the things that we've seen is we've seen an emphasis on this. You know, I, I, when we talk to coaches, you know, around the state at the high school level and the college level, they are preaching this thing. From your perspective, uh, what kind of growth have you seen maybe in awareness uh, of how important uh, hydration is? Well, I've seen a, a, a tremendous amount of growth. I mean, when I was playing in high school, uh, the coaches didn't want to give us any water at all or any fluid they're thinking that is going to cause us to have some abdominal cramps and keep us uh, keep us down in practice. Now, coaches are freely letting athletes get sports drinks during practice. They carry around these water bottles all the time. Uh, even some practice uh, facilities have the, the water fountains that spew out uh, multiple uh, water streams at the same time, so athletes can always go over there and get some. I mean, uh, the uh, coaching staff and community has really done a great job with educating themselves about heat illnesses and, and hydration. Uh, uh, it, and that's, that's just really, a, it's really a dramatic change from uh, way back when. Uh, I do want to ask you, you know, about the proper ways to hydrate because, you know, we hear a lot about, you know, the you know, Gatorade. We hear a lot about Powerade. We, you know, we hear about all these other, you know, maybe certain protein drinks and, and shakes and and stuff like that 
for you, is there anything that that athletes should be avoiding as far as trying to stay he- or trying to trying to stay hydrated? Uh, certainly, uh, things that make you have to go relieve yourself, such as coffee, caffeine, or caffeinated drinks, um, any of those things, or even alcohol. Yeah. Those things kind of dehydrate you, make you dry, and make you have to go. Uh, relieve yourself, and that gets rid of some of the body fluids that you really need before exercise. Interesting. The, um, yeah. No, go the, ahead. The things to actually do are to drink water before exercising, uh, with your meals before. During exercise, I prefer a sports drink, and then right after exercise, a sports drink, and then later on in, in the day, if you have two-a-days or things like we used to do, you have to drink water in, that, in those time periods. Certainly. And, and and then I do want to ask you, uh, uh, maybe from your experience, you know, when, when you deal with athletes, uh, are, are there any sort of uh, uh, stories that you can tell us uh, about maybe athletes who, who didn't go about the uh, the proper way of hydrating and maybe didn't take care of themselves uh, in that regard? Oh, yeah. I've uh, I've been to several college games and some of the athletes go down in the first quarter with heat cramps. Uh, and it, it, this, it, these are starting players. I mean, I know the coaches and, and all the team and all the fans want to see their players on the field. Um, so, you know, I think in warm up, warm up time, they really have to be cognizant of how much they're sweating. Mm-hmm. Sweat has sodium in it. Uh, so if you lose some sodium, you want to replenish that sodium with uh, uh, a sports drink that has some electrolytes in it. Uh, this will help prevent your sodium level going uh being diluted in your body if if the sodium gets too low that can cause problems with muscle function nerve function if it gets really low it can cause some brain problems mm-hmm. so uh definitely use sports drinks during uh, right before during and after uh sports participation now, i remember one one game uh starting defensive end uh went down in the first quarter uh with heat cramps and that took him out the second quarter and and, and through the halftime, through the second quarter and halftime, we were really trying to replenish his, his fluids. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes, some places we can cook in an IV and give the athletes some sodium, uh, give them some, uh, some uh, saline, and that will help replenish their body fluid and the sodium. However, a lot of high school places, uh, high school teams, and even un- uh, uh, grade school, uh, they don't have access to an IV or, or the healthcare professionals that can give an IV. So using a sports drink is the best best thing. So I had the athlete just constantly, uh, regularly drinking uh, Gatorade or Powerade or whatever it was there that they had. Uh, and he, he has to drink so much enough that he would have to induce uh, enough fluid on his body to in order so he can go relieve himself. So if you, if you have an athlete that's dehydrated, got heat cramps, I just have them take enough fluid in over a period of 20 to 30 minutes where they have to go and relieve themselves in the bathroom. And that lets you know that, hey, they have enough fluid on board and they, they're they really rehydrated and they're ready to go back and play. Good advice. Good stuff on, on hydration from Dr. Torrance Walker, orthopedic surgeon on this medical staff at Baylor Scott & White All Saints Medical Center in Fort Worth. Doc, appreciate your time and your insights and uh, take care. Okay. Thank you very much.